Hey folks, Keith with 93 Lumber coming back at you with another beer and some friends. Um, Hi. <laughs> say hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> uh, this was sent. We all did the uh, EBF, Extreme Beer Fest thing. And this was sent with that box and we decided to do it separately. Uh, the thing with that is um, all the boxes had different vintages. So when we introduce everybody, they will tell you what their vintage is. Mine is uh, 2017. And I should probably tell you what beer it is first. <laughs> uh, this is a uh, dogfish head. It is their old school. It is a barley wine style ale brewed with figs and dates, 15% alcohol by volume. I'm not sure if the, we kind of discussed it earlier, but I know Dogfish Head does weird things with their ABV sometimes, so they may vary slightly, but yeah. So whoever whoever wants to introduce themselves first can, can do that. Kyle, you're to the right. We can just go down. Uh, Kyle, no high beer reviews. I have a 2012 vintage. And like Keith was saying, yeah, it says 15, but I, I mean, it could probably be in that 14 to 18 percent, like 120 minute and worldwide stout. Yeah. All right. I'm Mike from NerdSense. I have a, a like Keith, I have a 2017, and it's supposed to be 15 percent. Who knows? <laughs> And Sean from NerdSense, I have a 2011 that also says 15%, but we're going to find out. No, we won't. I'd like to see how you're going to prove it. <laughs> Ask Harry how crazy I get later. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he was definitely on an 18% bender last night. <laughs> Fair enough. And the fun thing about these vintages... Um, Kyle and I, um, we have regular just old school 12 ounce bottles, whereas Keith and Mike have the uh, newer dogfish head uh, bottle format. Are we doing two ounce pours? Are we doing the two ounce? Oh, oh. Yeah, oh, two I'll try to get some head on it so it's <laughs> a lot. And... <laughs> <laughs> can get... Kyle's looking... Yeah, Kyle's looking to party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Respect. Yeah. Yeah. That looks like I don't know. Mine mine looks like apple cider. Like dark, real dark, dark apple cider. Yeah. Mine's mahogany apple cider. Yeah. Mine sort of looks I mean like you ever get like apple juice with cranberries in it? Sort of like what it looks like. Yeah, that's a good way to put it oh. actually. I have like not watered I, down uh, maple syrup. Yeah, it's it's in that. It yeah. looks like a barley wine. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, mine is distinctly like reddish, like mm -hmm. very red. Mm, yeah. Mine's definitely murky brown. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. mine. Mine is. It does. It looks like uh, Sean and Kyle. Yours look darker than obviously mine, but. It's, See how red mine looks? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah, that's... Mine, mine's murky. Oh, interesting. Mine's at a little bit. Yeah, I guess mine's a little bit reddish. You, if, if I really hold it up to the light. Uh, yeah. I, I probably, I probably uh, uh, disturbed the bottle while I was like looking at it and stuff. So it's probably just, it's probably just stuffs. Well, let's see. Want to see what it smells like? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Smells like a barley wine. <laughs> yeah. I do think it's interesting that it says it's a uh, barley wine uh, brewed with figs and dates because I often, even just with regular barley wines, I usually get yeah. figginess and uh, you know yeah. that, that date type type of nose. So this is yeah. should I'm, just sort of amplify those, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not really. Where do you see figs and dates? Oh, is yours not? Does it not oh, say? It says it down here, Sean. At, on the front? Nope. Where it says, <laughs> really? says really barley wine style ale. Oh. oh. Really? So, wait. So, right at the very bottom. Yeah, mine just says barley wine style ale. Does wow. that one not have figs and dates in it then? Or right. did they just not put it on the label? It definitely I, it smells like figs. <laughs> well, I, I would. 
I would say it probably has it on there. Uh, no, it probably has them in there because it's, it says barley wine style ale. It, it doesn't say spe specifically barley wine, so there probably are some adjuncts in there. Yeah. Was this it, was this the first year it was brewed? Two, 2011? No, because it went back to 2007, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 I think it's always had that. There's a story. I forget who the musician is, but like they got into home brewing or something, and it's like a trick to re-ferment a cask as you put figs and dates in it. Hmm. Sam told the story several times, but I'm, I'm forgetting some of the details, and I think that was the inspiration for the picture, and then also obviously it complements the style, but why they put those fruits in specifically. But anyway, even without that being added, I get that in barley wine. Right. Yeah. Right yeah. 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 Uh, mine is is our uh, mostly. I know. I know Mike has the same vintage as I, but I'm curious about uh, Sean and Kyle. Uh, are, does yours smell boozy? Yeah. If you have like, Kyle. It's not one of the first things I'd say, though. Like, I would talk about the, the figs and dates. I'd say molasses. Um, you know, like, not particularly sweet caramel. Actually, I don't know if I would, at least from the aroma, if I would ever even mention alcohol. Oh, shit, I would. Yeah, I, very, I, I mine would is ethanol. It. Yeah. Not ethanol -y, but if I take a deep whiff, I get it. But like, but, but like Kyle said, the fig and dates for sure. Um, molasses more so than, than, than caramel. It's very, it's very dark burnt sugar molasses style. Yeah. Yep. Almost like chocolate, not, not a lot of chocolate, but it's almost like if you mix like chocolate with, with, with a little bit of molasses. Hmm. Keith, are you getting that on yours? What the alcohol <laughs> or the, or the, no, it, Sean's, get, Sean's getting some, some element of chocolate. I'm not getting it on mine. Oh, um, maybe there's like this, um, there's this little, uh, uh, was it bitter, bitter thing, roasty yeah. bitter thing. And it, I could, I could see that coming off like chocolate okay. or something, hmm. but I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I'm, I'm looking for it. Like I wouldn't, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say chocolate. Just, just. It's very yeah. faint. Very, it's very. I'd be like the the twelfth thing I would mention yeah. is the chocolate, the whisper of chocolate. Yeah. Like it's not yeah. a dominant thing. Yeah, but it's I I get it. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Okay, cool. I, I wonder if if that becomes more pronounced with the older, because I I I am getting sort of like like a like a bitter component, but I would never have thought of it as chocolate. It kind of reminds me of because, like you guys said, molasses. Mine's coming off like um, not. It's kind of molassesy, but not quite molasses. It's just like dark brown sugar mm. kind of thing. But it's reminding me of like stone ground chocolate. Now that you said chocolate, now now it's in my head, and now I'm now I'm thinking. But like um, you know the uh, like the stone ground stuff, like, like cacao nibs. No, it's kind of like chalky kind of. Thing. Like Taza, like the brand. Taza. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. I'm getting a little bit of those vibes in there. You guys, want to get a taste of this? Yes, more than anything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Ooh. Oof. This needs like nine more years. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty hard. <laughs> This tastes like um, this tastes like a really nice barley wine with like uh, e like Everclear in it or something. yeah. It's just like it's 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 uh, it tastes good, but the alcohol thing is kind of makes me not want to drink. <laughs> yeah, for me, after you take a sip, you get a big hit of like grain alcohol at the back. Yeah, I would I would go. There's boo this is boozy for for a 10 year old beer. It's not as much as you're saying but there is like it's heat. I get ethanol. There's flavor there. I can see what you're saying coming from a uh, uh, later vintage. Kyle, what about you? Yeah, I get it. I'm 
so I'm weighing is it the different vintages and yours and mine are older and alcohol can mix with the other things that might be less than this. Is it a personal palate, personal preference thing? I get alcohol. I did not get any aroma. I was very clear about that. I do get it on the taste. It's not taking me out of the beer though. And okay. I don't, and I feel like Mike yeah. and Keith are a little <clears throat> closer to that. This is like the first sip I was like, I, I took a couple more sips because I, I had to uh, uh, check. But like the first sip, I got like barley wine. And now it just tastes like straight up like alcohol. <laughs> alcohol with like a little like uh, like caramel dark fruit thing. Just like in the background. But like the alcohol is like crazy. Yeah, for, for me, when I take a sip, uh, first thing I get is the carbonation. Then I get some like almost uh, some dark fruit, um, like raisin and fig and stuff, caramel. And then once it hits about the mid palate, it turns just to an astringent booziness that goes from the mid palate to the back palate. And it's just it's quite unpleasant, honestly. Yeah. I wonder... For me, the booziness doesn't hit until sort of the end. Like the mid palate, sort of good. The the carbonation, me, but you know, to be expected. Yeah. For for me that, um, I will say the the um, the fig caramel thing does hit first, but it does not last very long. Almost, it's like almost it like comes and goes like it's just, and yep. then it's just like straight grain alcohol after yep. that. So it sounds like. I don't know if it's the, you know how it was brewed or whatever, or if it is just the age. But and, and Sean, correct me if I'm wrong or misunderstanding you. The age has elongated the pleasant tastes and really pushed back the alcohol coming. For me, the alcohol really shows up when it's all over. Oh wow! Now I have the warmth in my chest. I have some whispers of alcohol on my breath, and for me to tell, like, like when we're done, I go talk to my wife. She'll be like, "You had a high ABV here," because if I can tell, usually she'll say that. I'm like, "I I don't feel that way. If I'm feeling this way, I can, you know, she'll definitely smell it on me." Um, mm -hmm. But I mean, I, I'm getting the dates, the figs, the barley wine stuff, the the caramel, the molasses. There's some sweetness maybe even a hint of, of green apple. And then maybe in the very, very, very end of the finish, I get some of that alcohol. But for me, the alcohol is after the fact. Uh, yeah. I understand. Yeah, it's definitely I after understand. for me. The green apple. Interesting. I didn't get it until you said it, but then again, it, it was put in my brain. Right. So it's like, so it's now I'm thinking, looking for it, but no, but there is that sort of like green apple kind of kiss of tartness kind yeah. of going through it with like the sweetness. Um, and, and more on the aftertaste, other than the booze, um, there is a little bit of like chocolatiness there, like more um, more cacao nibs, like more bitter chocolate than like sweet chocolate. Um, it's also kind of thin, very thin, a little bit for the ABV. Have, it's yeah. yeah. Have Have you guys had this fresh? I have not. I, yeah, but it would have been 2013. Oh, so I don't remember. Um, sorry. <laughs> Like, I mean, I've had barley wines that were like 12 to 14 percent. I don't know if I've ever had like a 15 percent barley wine per se, but uh, like, I, I don't understand how they got 15 percent and got it to taste like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the quote of the video right there. Well, I mean, it's crazy too because yours is three to four years old. I mean, it's had time to work in the bottle. I mean, they make it very clear on the packaging, age this beer, you know? Do, so, you, re do you remember what the 2013 tasted like fresh? I mean, I know it's been a while. But. Yeah, I mean, I liked it enough that I bought the 14, you know? But I, don't know, I like big boozy beers too. <laughs> so, Yeah, just uh, given like... How, how like you felt about like triple IPAs and stuff? This would this beer would be very unpleasant to you. I mean, it it, it is I said, as soon as it hits the mid palate, it gets that that sharp alcoholic astringency and washes back, and all it does is it's it's just deeply unpleasant. There's no way I'm drinking this beer. I mean, I'll sip on this a little so, bit, but once it's over, I'm done. 
we Deep. don't have to do this, but you guys do have older vintages. Do you want to crack them and see if you think they're better with age or no? No pressure. I don't care. I if you don't drink the one I gave you, you don't finish it. I don't care. There's no pressure if you hate it. Mine's I wouldn't I wouldn't drink mine. Mine's not a okay quite at seller temp. <laughs> okay, I just I, no pressure. Couldn't care less. I was gonna I was gonna say that I didn't get to take this out like too long before we started this, so it was only out of the fridge for like I don't know. We've been doing this for 18 minutes, so it was out of the fridge for maybe like 25, 30 minutes. Um, so if anything, it should be hiding some of that alcohol if it's cold. Mm. Yeah. So I'm thinking like, later I'm going to put this in the back in the fridge and let it sit for a little bit and get cooler and then try the rest of the bottle. All right. This is a 2014. What's the temp, Mike? Was it, were, were, were they both just out in your bar? Yeah. They're, I mean, yeah. but yeah, but they've been in living room for a while. They're, they're right, right. Close, to, close to room temp. Yeah, yeah. Probably 60 degrees. Okay. Um, all right. This this nose is very much like apple peel and caramel. I, I don't get any hint of booze. I mean, this smells like outstanding. Outstanding. <laughs> very, 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 very different. Remarkably different. Get the other one here. Awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, this is sharp. Very sharp. Very, very astringent. Even like, especially after having tasted it, it's like like the things that I found very sort of off-putting on the nose are even more sort of like forward. This one here smells almost like an apple cider. It's very, very apple-y to me, like um, like apple skins. Not an apple cider, that's wrong, but it's very apple forward, like a, sort of like it was aged in like a apple brandy barrel, honestly, yeah. very apple forward. I wonder I wonder if this is supposed to be served at like 70 degrees. It's like it's supposed <laughs> to be hot. A light oil on it. Yeah. yeah. Heat like baby bottle. Wow, this is Four. this this is outstanding, outstanding. Do you get the booze at the end though? Just, just a hint, right at the very back, like almost right about here. You know yeah. what I mean? Right at the very, very, very back of the tongue. Mm. All so the it's way. interesting to figure out what, where where the prime is. You know what I mean? Like where like the sweet spot is for this beer. So if you're tw if 2011, 2012, 2014, is is the one you gave me, Kyle? 2014 too. It's the same as the one Mike has. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but Sean, I wonder if it's just the year, not the age, the year, because oh. Ky cause Kyle liked the 2013 enough to get the 2014, and he drank that fresh. Mm. Oh, yeah, like we we've had widely different like BCBSs, right? Even like the regular oh, yeah. variant. Like it could just be that that year is not their strongest year. Yeah, as like, as much as you want to try to be consistent with with a beer, especially a beer like this, it's 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 gonna be hard. So. But but the weird thing, I already said this, but I'm going to reiterate it because it's bothering me. I don't know how you do a 15% beer and get it to taste like this. If if you're using malt to like, well, I guess unless unless it's like a small malt base and they just use the figs and the dates to get the sugars. Mm -hmm. just I don't know. It. But it doesn't, it, it, yeah, like it smells more like. I'm getting more in the aroma than I am in the in the taste. Yeah, and with, with the old one, I actually got more fig and date on the nose than I do on this one. This one here is very much sort of like molasses, um, some dark fruit, but it's sort of nondescript. You know what I mean? And then apple skins, like you know, like apple peel. Mm -hmm. Well, and like we said at the beginning with the ABVs, I mean, when Dogfish had brewed some of these beers and they're they're within three to four ABV points, those are different beers, clearly. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, yeah, not, I wonder if this is like 18% or something. Well, and, and if I mean if anything, it's just proof like you get sequench, that beer is basically the same every time it's dialed in but like when they do these big abv ones they're just they're not making the same beer they're they're trying to to some degree but they're not yeah. so yeah I, I wonder like mike said as well like how much of it is an age thing how much of it is this specific vintage fresh through aged hard to yeah, tell but, obviously. well also if you said that they you like someone said that they might be using the fruit to sort of like re-ferment you know, it's going to create more booze. Um, if you have a fruit that is, you know, one year considerably higher in sugar, you may get something that has more booze than something like, you know, like you, you've definitely, like, 
if you've had any experience eating fruit, sometimes you get ones a lot sweeter than other yeah. times. You know what I mean? It could be the time of year you get them because it could be more um, more ripe or whatever. But like you might have just a different batch and have just considerably more sugar, creating a higher out al- higher alcohol and ethanol kind of figure at the in the back. Oh, for sure, that's um, a good point. <clears throat> I love figs, and I like to eat figs whether they're dried or fresh. And I'm getting this thing. I haven't had a sip in a little in a few minutes, and I'm getting this thing in the like back of my mouth that it it's like I just ate a fig. Oh, nice. not, not just ate a fig, but like I ate it. And then like, you know, when you eat something and it kind of, yeah, the flavor in your mouth for a while, like I just get in this like little, like, like little tinge of fig thing in my, in the back of my mouth. So interesting. that's, it's kind of cool, but I don't, I'm not particularly fond of this beer. <laughs> um, the last thing I'm going to say about the comparison real quick is for me, like I'm actually not getting a whole lot of lingering flavor. Like I feel like the the alcohol finishiness is sort of drying. It, instead of it being harsh and bitter and horrible and no offense, it was horrible. I agree with Keith here. Um, this is almost sort of like drying the palate. You know what I mean? It's that kind of an alcohol finish, um, but it sort of makes you want to take another sip. It's it's sort of yeah. sort of good. <laughs> like like this is gene. This is a brilliant beer. Yeah. This is great. I I I. I, I, I you guys are watching me like or if you are like i'm i'm taking multiple like multiple tiny sips like i am enjoying this beer a lot like it and and it it, 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 it's not like big sips but it is nice and tiny sips because you're getting those flavors and it's kind of just it kind of lingers for a bit too and then you want to go back for another one because once it like dissipates you're kind of like okay let me get that flavor back on 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 my palate but for me like the last time I had a, I had a ten a ten year old beer, it was that ten year old sexual chocolate Mike. We saw how that turned out. So I was very Wet wary cardboard. of like, yeah, I was very very scared going into another ten year old beer this this soon, just just from the last time. But yeah, I'm 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 extremely happy with with this particular vintage. What was the I I watched the I watched that video. I remember I remember watching it because I was like, oh. They're gonna. It's probably gonna be awesome. And then yeah, gonna, like, I, I, that, that's exactly what I thought too. I'm like, this is gonna be fucking great. I love sexual chocolate. I love all the bitches sexual chocolate. It's gonna be awesome. And then it was just terrible. What, what was what's the EBV on that? Ten six, ten something, ten. I think it usually ranges between nine and ten something. It it it, it varies. Yeah. There's um a famous line. I think it's I don't know what it is, but it's you know where a lady says something like uh, I shaved my legs for this, and for me I was like I fucking risk COVID for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. We did. Yeah, that was like the biggest the big thing. Like, oh, we gotta get together and do this. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder about this. I wonder if this is just way oxidized, and and that it's just muting those flavors. Mm. And because the because it's such high alcohol, it's like because that dryness thing is reminding me a little bit of. I am getting this like wet paper thing in my mouth. Oh. So, See, so I'm, I'm thinking maybe the oxidation is muting those flavors, and because it's 15, percent the alcohol is just like, oh, I get to, I live here now. <laughs> <laughs> See, for, for me, for me, I feel like the flavors are very bright, and then it just disappears. Like I, I don't get any. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's see if I do see those. I didn't see them when we we talked about it earlier. Yes, yeah, I'm not getting that wet cardboard thing. I'm just getting that harsh. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like the fruit flavors are bright. I, I'm not getting sort of like that sucks. I'm not getting like um, <laughs> I'm not getting that sort of like wet cardboard. I'm getting like like a bright amount of fruit, and then as soon as it hits the mid palate, it just goes pfft, fuck off, and it's just harsh and bitter and uh, no, bitter is wrong word, like astringent. You know that sort of yeah. that unpleasant bite. You know, yeah. yeah. And I'm not getting anything like that here. It's I mean, this is Jesus Christ. Awesome. But I tell you this much, because of this, I won't buy this at a store because I don't know what I'm going to get, you know? If I see it in singles, I'll probably buy a single. But if I see a 2014, for some reason, I'll be buying it. <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah, doing a review like this is, I mean, it's just cool. Different vintage, vintages, different palettes, different takes, different things we want to taste, not want to taste. I don't know. I think this was a really good review. I think it was like, 
I think this 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 was great that that we had such a, a varying degree of vintages, and I'm really glad that both Keith and Mike did decide to start with with the 2014 because I think this 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 could have gone a completely different way, and it's very interesting to see where it went, and then that Mike opened up the 2014 to kind of be in the same realm uh, as as where you and I are with with it, Kyle. So yeah, this this is yeah this is the an, an experiment gone right. <laughs> well, one thing I'm I'm sort of like glad is that like I'm glad I didn't do the 2014, and then like a few weeks from now, like oh, let's get to 2017. Oh, <laughs> you imagine that? Excitement, and then me and like, like me and you get together, do it. Like, this beer is terrible. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we risk COVID for this beer. <laughs> <laughs> And then Keith, at some point, man, you got to do the 2014 so we yeah. can hear what you think about it. So, oh, by the way, I do want to thank Kyle for this. Kyle, oh, uh, thank you very much. No, it was awesome. I'm and I'm glad I I, I pre cut the um the wax <laughs> before the video because that's it's so dangerous. I was, almost cut my hand off. <laughs> you got to pre cut the wax. That's a little trade secret for everyone watching at home. You got to pre cut the wax. Sean and I learned that the hard way, like a oh, bunch of times. I never learned my lesson. Though. <laughs> I never learned my lesson, but I, I, I do have to ask something because, because if I don't, I'm just going to, I'm just going to beat myself up about it. Mike, are you going to blend them? I wouldn't. <laughs> well, I have plenty left in the bottle. I have plenty Kube, left in the bottle. Kube, I have Kube, very, Kube. I have here. Yes. Ooh, maybe not all of that though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like, that's a lot. Look at Keith's face. Keith is like, this is not good. <laughs> That smells terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Jesus Christ. Um, this is like drinking a 2015 and a half, right? From doing yeah. <laughs> it's like 30%. <laughs> um, yeah, that's bad. Um, no, well, yeah. I, I mean, you didn't I, even put that much in there. Like, no. Is that yeah, like 60, 40 kind of thing? Uh, maybe. It's hard, it's hard to tell because the glass isn't like. You know, if I had like a like a Stange or like a you know Kolsch glass, then yeah. you can, you know. Yeah. But um, Did the, it, does it basically just taste like this one? Just yeah, pretty much. Alcohol yeah. Take, takes over. Dominating. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I I don't think it starts so much in the mid palate. Might be a little bit further, but the the bite of the back is just as bitter and oh, um, unpleasant. This is the right word. Sorry. I kind of, I think, uh, I think Kyle and Sean, I think, I think Kyle and Sean should seek out some 2017s and, and <laughs> drink these. No, no, I think good. Good. I'm good. No, you know, you need them. You know, you need them, Sean and Kyle. Like if your wives are pissing you off, like, hey, say, honey, have a beer, have a beer. <laughs> Carrie would never drink this. She would take a sip and go, gross. Oh yeah, she needs to hate this beer for yeah. sure. Yeah, it's, you know which one they would hate for real? The 2017. <laughs> you know what this would be good for? This would be good for like some sort of like mixed drink. I was just gonna that say you can like, make it probably a good beer cocktail. Yeah, that was like like dark fruit, like grenadine and like uh, I don't know what other dark fruit liquor stuff, mixed drink things. I'm I don't I don't really drink that stuff, so I don't know. But yeah, that's what maybe you can make syrup out of it. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> So yeah, this beer, ha so so the 2017 has a 4.04 rating on Untapped. Someone gave it a five. Extreme, Extreme Beer Fest Day Two Number Six, a five. Yeah, no, that's a lot. Yeah, do you know, do you know why? What for full of shit for 2017? Well, I bet people didn't realize what they were checking into. To be honest, I wonder. I wonder if Sam thought everybody would love this because it just tastes like alcohol. <laughs> I need to go. Is is it still available? By the way, thanks, what? Alexa. The um, the the video because I didn't watch the old school part of the of, of, of EBF. Oh, I don't know. It yeah, should be. They said because I would like to watch it now because I didn't want to watch it before to kind of put things in my head. Yeah, they said thirty days. I think. Yeah, I would like to watch it and see what Todd had and what um, Sam had. Oh, they probably both had like 2000. They probably, Sam was like, I'm going to send you the best vintage because I've tried all of them. So I know what they all taste like. And I'm so going to send you I, a good one. Go ahead, I'm Kyle. on the website and it, it just has a quick list of 2021 releases and it does not have this one listed. It does have Utopia's Barrel Aged Worldwide Stout again on the list. But um, let me read you the tasting notes. And actually, the first time this was brewed was 2002. 
actually. Holy Whoa. smokes. So uh, aroma, okay, again, this is from them. Color, dark red to amber. So I'm glad Mike harped on the red because that was good to point out. Aroma, here's what I thought was interesting. The first thing they put under aroma, apples. Then figs, then raisin, then pears. Flavor, sweet and fruity. Pear. Medium body, slight, cloying, and warm. Definitely not medium body. This is yeah, it's thinner than medium. I agree, but I'm glad they mentioned the apple. I, I feel less crazy for thinking apple. Yeah, I, I, I feel like, I feel like this is the first thing I got on the nose on the 2014 for sure. The apple skins. You know what I mean? Like like a peeled apple. Yeah, I mean, like it almost like it, it, you know if when you start peeling an apple, that sort of mist in the air that you know that's that's what it smells like. You know. Actually, as it warms up, it just tastes, it just smells more and more like alcohol. You're going to say apple. Alcohol. I'm like, oh, apple alcohol. Okay. When I Google it, oh, maybe a little bit. The first hit yeah. is untapped maybe. 2017 vintage. So I wonder if 2017 was the last time they brewed it. Hmm. Yeah. You know why? Because everyone hated it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good. It, it, it's it's distressing because the 2014 is so good. I mean, so good. This is like, I mean, it's not like worldwide stout good. I mean, a different style, but you know what I mean. It's not like yeah. that kind of. Oh, worldwide like, stout blows us out of the water. Yeah, but it's just like, I don't know if this is good enough to to warrant hanging around for seven years. But it's very good. I don't, you know. Well, that's the other thing. I don't know where this would go from here. Yeah. I don't think the alcohol calms down on this at all. I do think it's just sort of a stringent beer. Because it was, it was Sean that was saying that yours was boozy. A little bit, but it's not a, not as much. Same with right? Kyle. It, it 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 doesn't hit booziness until the end, and oh. it, it could also. And 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 the more I drink it, the less booze there is. But also, it's fifteen percent, so it's probably just my just just me being like, "Ooh, this is great." <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but I'm having oh, fun. Yeah. Like a 15% beer should be boozy. It just shouldn't be yeah. like a stringent grain alcohol. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you should feel the heat. It's 15%. This is no joke. Yeah, I don't think but, they brewed it since 2017, to be honest with you. Everything I'm looking at on, on, on online sounds like 2017 was the last batch they've done. Untapped has a 2018. I, I searched 2019 and 2020, and I couldn't oh, really? find either of those. But Untapped does have a 2018. I just I can't verify that these people are talking about an actual 2018, but there's 140 yeah. check-ins, which makes me think they might not know what they're yeah. talking about. Yeah. But anyway. who wouldn't doesn't doesn't the brewery doesn't the brewery have to add this because this is listed as a vintage of old school? I'm looking at it now. Um, ooh, people oh, some pictures though. We could or or we're just wasting our time. Like, oh, let's just zoom yeah. in on the pictures. We see the dates. Although based on some live streams we've done, when people are like Googling things on camera, that's when peak viewership is. So there might be people who are like, oh, thank God the beer review is done. And they're Googling things because that's <laughs> why what, what we tune in. Because it's just so, the last two live streams I was a part of, that was our biggest viewership was when people were on screen were like looking things up and not talking. <laughs> yeah. like, we're going to see the drop off at like 30, well, three. At three minutes. <laughs> no, yeah, the, 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 the drop off is like, oh, there's four of them. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> like the guys at Nerd Sense can't even start sipping a beer until at least four minutes. The guy at 93 Lumber can't can't start sipping a beer until at least five minutes. And then Kyle, he's pretty good about it. But like, given the average of this, this is going to be a long fucking beer review. <laughs> I do find That's that like doing this kind of stuff with people i'm just like when we open the beer like i just i feel like yeah, I'm back I like all right like yeah that's yeah hey so we accept this yes now yes now <laughs> like and, and 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 i always feel weird if it's somebody else's channel because you're like like do i just interject like it's not my channel but i guess like yeah at at, at some points though you kind of have to be like all right let's just open the fucking beer <laughs> yeah. um, well yeah. keith thanks for hosting this man yeah this yeah, is good this for, is thanks for coming thanks yeah. for having us over yeah, it's nice. Very socially distanced gathering. Appreciate it, Keith. Yeah. Yeah, at least, uh, <laughs> what, there's at least uh, like 60 miles between all of us, right? <laughs> yeah. More than that. Way more than that. Well, yeah, Mike and I are least, probably like, at least At least me and them. Yeah. 
don't know. Yeah. But I think Sean and I are maybe like maybe 15 miles, maybe less. But is it a New England thing to like base things on instead of distance, you base it on time? Because like I don't think of miles. I'm go, I'm like 20, 25 minutes yeah. away from Mike. I'm like yeah. two hours away from Kyle. <clears throat> I'm like four hours away from Keith. Like I don't think yeah. of it in miles. <laughs> yeah, but I, I I think about like that uh I'm about 20 minutes away and I'm like, oh well, you know, 15 minutes is highway, so that's about a minute. Then off highway, maybe about five yeah. minutes. Like that's why I was uh, sort of going. <laughs> yeah. Especially that stupid light at the bottom of exit 37. Jesus Christ, that sucks. Oh, it's a pain in the ass. The the trick is to take a right and go the other street by the um No, the yeah. trick is to just drive right through. Fuck people. Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna <laughs> be peak viewership. Right now. <laughs> this this part right, we, do. we can bounce. All right. Keith, we can bounce. Take us out. All right. Thanks for coming and stuff. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus Christ, I'm the like, excitement. I, the excitement is palpable. I drank like three ounces of this and I'm fucking wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been 93 Lumber. Yeah. That's your host, Keith. That's Kyle from No Hype Beer Reviews. That's Mike from Nerd Sense. I'm Sean Thanks. from Nerd Sense. And again, 93 Lumber, subscribe to his channel. Yeah. This is going to be great. Hey, and, and if you haven't checked out any of these guys, you should check them out. And some of us are not a vacuum. Yeah, it, it, it. <laughs> <laughs> this will be the it's highest it. viewership. It's in ASM, ASRM or whatever the hell it is. Uh, ASMR, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I like how the vacuum was in Mike's house and Mike didn't even know about it <laughs> until no, it, until Kyle said it. He's like, no, oh yeah, yeah, vacuum. No, it's a, a blender. <laughs> wow, blender. blender. And I heard it. I just when you guys noticed, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it was good uh, oh. hanging out with you guys. Cool. Yeah. You can uh, you can like this video if you want. You can subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and you can uh, follow me on Instagram. And then you got to be more forceful. I just like the video, subscribe <laughs> to the channel, find mm -hmm. me on Instagram at ninety three lumber. <laughs> Tell your wow. viewers what you want them to do. Yeah. Wow. I mean, Keith, if you want Keith, to watch Keith, one of my videos, they're yeah, out there yeah. on the internet. And, um, you know, I, I think there's an Instagram account. I, <laughs> Keith, you, 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 you set one up. I don't know. I'm like sweating now. <laughs> Keith, you're being called on so being called up by a New Yorker. I'd be real offended right now. <laughs> 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 Hey, listen, Kyle, listen, it's a live stream. Like, what? Is, yeah. How is this any different? No, so, and, yeah. and, and 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 I I joke that you're being called up by Kyle, but he has the most like viewership and members, uh, followers. We should probably all be doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell my viewers what to do: like the video. Then I tell them to go to your channel. I say like their video. Yeah, they don't listen to that part though. Yes. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Like those guys just said a lot of bad words. No. <laughs> oh god. Soiling Kyle's good name. Mike, are, are you are you, are you gonna are you gonna finish yours? I'm gonna pour it up my culo, probably. <laughs> I don't know what that means.